Welcome back painting friends. Today we're gonna paint a cute little baby panda in a cherry blossom tree. So the colors you're gonna need are black, brown, white. I have a teal color for my background and pink. Now I've got two whites because my teal and my white I'm gonna mix together so I wanted to have a clean white. Um, usually the brushes I use are my one inch flat brush, my 10 six and one round brush. But today I'm also gonna add in a um, card of some sort. So like a credit card, a driver's license. Um, I usually just kind of get whatever gift cards are empty and I keep those by my painting station. So that's something you guys are gonna want today. You always wanna have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. So let us get started. Um, I'm gonna start by putting a bunch of white on one edge of my canvas. And then I'm gonna take some blue and drop it in there as well, or the teal. Now I know there's less teal and that's okay, but I'm gonna then put some teal and white in the middle of my canvas as well in case my credit card starts to dry up. So then I'm gonna take my card and I'm just gonna pull those colors across. You're gonna get quite a bit of paint on the back of your brush and what you could do then is you can go back over it and you can press down harder on your card you could pull it across again your goal is to have this really interesting marbled effect going over your entire background The last thing I might want to do is if you have some really strong lines, you can simply take your card over one more time over those lines and get rid of them. All right, we are going to let our background dry. When we come back, we will add in our panda. With my dry background, it is now time to talk about adding in my cherry blossom and my panda. So I am gonna go in with my number six round brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush for when I grab my brown paint. I want my brown paint to be just a little bit thinner. So if you already have thin paint, then you don't need to do this. But um, I want mine to kind of glide on smoothly. So I've got some brown paint on my brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start over here just below the center of my canvas and I'm gonna make a line that goes up one way and then I'm gonna start at the same spot and we're gonna make one that drops off down lower. So these are gonna be the branches of my cherry blossom. And from there, I can even add a couple more lines. Maybe I can even extend this one. And cherry blossoms generally have pretty gnarly branches to them. And so you can kind of have an unsteady hand and still have it look like a cherry blossom because that's what cherry blossoms do. Now once I have that on there, um, we're gonna thicken up our base to be about an inch. And then we can just kind of fill that space in. And as it branches off, we're just gonna thicken those up a little bit and gently start to pull our brush up and then I like to start at the tip of my branch and bring it back. That way I get a really small tip to each branch. So I can just thicken up each of those branches so that they look like they are connected to my original branch and then start at the edge and pull it back. Any more 
or branches just um, for a little bit of fun. You can even go in and add a couple more branches for your tree so that you have more flowers on your canvas. If you want to keep it kind of open and add some words, you can do that as well. that brush off. Now we're going to use the same brush, my number six round brush, to draw out our panda. So my panda is going to be sitting right here, which is why I left this big area open. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw his little panda feet. And I'm just going to make two nice big ovals. Now I am making a cartoon panda. I'm sure you've already figured that out. But um, it's going to be a baby and he is sitting on this branch. So from here, I'm just going to connect the two feet with an a frowny face or a rainbow, you know, depending on where you're at today. A frowny face or a rainbow. Just directly above that, not too far from that belly, I'm going to make a big oval. That's going to be our panda's head. On top of that big oval, I'm going to put two little oval ears and then his arms. So his arms are gonna really connect from the head to the feet. So the first arm is just gonna be a line over and swoop back. And the other one is gonna do the same thing. For his feet, we wanna leave one part of them white. So I'm gonna make an oval here that I don't need to paint black and an oval here that I don't need to paint black. His eyes have ovals on them as well, but the bottom of the oval is quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to make a curved line at the top, just kind of make the base bigger. And same thing over here, oval at the top and just make that base bigger. His nose is an oval. So now that we have those things done, we're gonna paint his ears white. We're gonna paint his eyes white. We're gonna paint his arms and belly. I keep saying white, black, 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 black. And around his feet black. So let's go ahead and get our black spaces on there. And then we will add in our white spaces. Now, while we have our panda drying, we're gonna work on our cherry blossoms. So cherry blossoms can be done a bunch of ways. You can use your paintbrush, um, but I, I like to use my finger. If you've ever painted with me before, you know that finger painting is my favorite. So I'm gonna take white and pink on my finger at one time, and I am going to make little flowers, okay? We're not gonna do the center of the flowers yet, but we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make as many flowers as you want. And some of these are gonna be lighter, some are gonna be darker, but all I do is five dots in a circle. If you want them to be smaller, you could switch to your pinky finger, but I like to make mine kind of big. This is also a great way if you don't love what one of your um, branches looks like, like I have a little mistake here. I just put a flower right on top of it and the mistake disappears.
I think I'm gonna actually put um, a branch and a cherry blossom in his hand. So I'm gonna switch back to my paintbrush real quick and I'm gonna make just a small little branch. And then I can go in and add a cherry blossom on it. So for the center of the leaves, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of brown paint and a little bit of white paint on my finger. So brown and white, it's gonna be a light color and I'm just gonna put a dot right in the middle of each of these. Perfect, my panda is not dry yet, so I am going to dry my panda before we add in our white spaces. With my background dry, I'm now gonna go in and fill in all of my white spaces. Um, I'll probably need a second coat of paint on my black because I can see through a little bit of the teal, so I'll go through and add some black on there too. So um, I am just gonna fill in his face, his belly, his paws, but also two little small white spots on his eyes, which I'm gonna use my finger for. So two little small white spaces on his eyes, and I'm gonna put those kind of on the outside upper tip. black paint on my brush I'm going to just clean up any area that I hit with my white paint because sometimes that happens I'm also going to draw a little mouth on this guy just a little curve off to one side of his nose and a little curve off to the other side oh he is turning out to be so cute And then I'm gonna put my second layer of black paint on. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the top of his feet, just so I could see the difference between his body and his feet. I'm gonna add a small little highlight to the top of his nose. And I'm gonna add two little white dots above his eye. Oh, he's adorable. So when you're finished, if you've never painted with me before, I always sign my artwork in the bottom right corner with my initials. So remember to sign your artwork. And just know I don't get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to my Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Painting With A Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.